Hello, hello, Katrina Cobb here, your favorite digital nomad, business consultant and coach. And this week, I wanna talk a little bit about working on your business and not just in your business. Now I know the never ending trap of a service provider is that we get so busy doing the client work, doing the thing that we're absolutely a genius at and that we quite frankly enjoy, otherwise we wouldn't have started this business, that we don't really create or prioritize the space to work on it as a business. And I think it starts with first the mindset of running your business as a business owner and as a CEO and not just this technician that provides this amazing service. So having an awareness that even if you're quote unquote, just a graphic designer, consultant, designer, accountant, you know, any insert, any other service that you may provide somebody, you're never just that you're also a business owner, even if you're a one man show. I think one of the biggest game changers for me when I was growing my first series of businesses was reading the book, The E-Myth by Michael Gerber, because it, for the very first time, outlined the importance of documenting and creating systems to get out from under the, the hamster wheel trap of having to do all the things and running yourself into the ground, because not only are you providing all the aspects of your service, then you also have to find the time to grow and run a business, right? Which can feel super overwhelming if that's not your natural skill set. So that was a game changer for me. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so committed to helping business owners figure out how to make running the business end of what they do easier through systems, metrics, and support. And I think one of the, one of the lessons that was most helpful is creating micro commitments to where you can commit to doing something on your business every day. Because what I find is that if we try to make the commitment too big to build a system, work on the business, carve out a huge chunk of time to build this whole new thing or this workflow or this process or whatever, inevitably we have fires to put out when it comes to client work or, or something else urgent and that chunk gets eaten away at and then we kind of throw the towel and say, well, I'll do it later. Whereas if you have a micro commitment, which for me is a small step of one to five minutes of something that starts working you towards documenting and building an actual system around the processes you're doing every day as a non-negotiable, you will very, very, very quickly build something that you can then leverage, get your time back, start to delegate or bring on a team, like find other ways to make the running of the business more streamlined and easier for you and therefore more enjoyable so you can work in your gifts and your genius and some of these other things are handled and handled easier. So what's an example of a micro commitment? If you are executing a content plan, can you copy and save the content that you're posting daily into organized file folders for reuse and repurposing? That's an extra like one to two minute step every time you post or every time you create that over time is gonna build this huge, huge, huge arsenal and library of content to repurpose that you can then hand off to a VA, hand off to somebody else and save yourself massive amounts of time later down the line. Another example, if you are executing a client project, can you take five minutes to think back through the steps you just took and make a checklist for everything that had to go into designing the milestones or fulfilling a client need, right? That five minutes, one, it's gonna make a system that you can then check yourself against for your next client, just make sure you're dotting all your I's, crossing your T's, but two, it gives you the opportunity to bring somebody else into support, should you have to go on vacation and bring a subcontractor in, they've got a, a process then to make sure they're covering everything just the way you would. So two little examples of micro commitments you can make to work on the business daily and not just get stuck in it. So I hope that helps. If you want some more ideas, shoot me a note or an email. I am always happy to help talk about how to make your business easier so you can scale faster with less stress and less headaches and get your time back and still achieve all of your amazing business goals. So that's my tip for the week. I'll be back next week with some more. See you then.